Brown from Pennsylvania. That uh, this is likely for intentions. They both like Rosa Edwards, born in Uganda. World Boxing Council's junior life. That's happened to him in other fights. But he comes back. Dangerous, and that's uh, a little sock. Rosa Edwards now lives in Las Vegas. He stood for that right hand again. It went right down his legs. He really can't afford to take too many more of those. This was the WBC champion. He had six months when he was on top of the world. He's 25. A version of a world title for National Boxing Federation. Title, and he held that at lightweight. So these two already showing just what sort of fight this could develop into. Less than two and a half. And who took his IBF title from it. Having his 46 professional fight defeats. When you look at those defeats, four of them have come. And again, the right of Brown finds its way home. Had a very rough start. In, in Uganda, there. Does now in the United States. Not very. In America for his TV fights there. In fact, he's regularly voted in, including a tremendous battle last year with Bobby Shakon from California. Now Brown being put to the test in the second round. The lighter skinned of the two men. The Rafael Bazooka Limon. He then been a pro a few months later that year against Rolando Navarrete. Up those are in five rounds. Just with his head as he comes in. Not been told about it. he goes brown on the floor cut and hurt and in real trouble now in only the third round and on all known form bose redwoods will have him now he'll have him brown trying to weave his way out of trouble but he's caught and caught again by right uppercuts and harry gibbs comes in and that is that and that was Bose Redwoods comes up with this tremendous third round win. What a beautiful South.